Hey YouTube, it's Lord Alex again from the new workbench and this video is uh, multi-tools. There's all kinds of multi-tools here. Um, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try not to get into extreme detail on each one. There's videos on probably every one of these uh, things like floating around somewhere. But just a general idea of the kind of stuff that I have and if you want me to make a video about any one of these specific uh, knives or tools let me know, and I can do that. That's not a problem. Um, start off with something like this. This is not a Victoria Knox. This is a, a cheap Chinese handout that uh, a company I used to work for uh, gave me. Regular little Swiss Army knife. Got your little blade and your scissors and your can opener and uh, pliers, corkscrew. I have used these as awls for things, but of all of the Swiss Army knife type knives I've owned, I've never, ever, ever, ever pulled a cork out of a bottle with one of these. Ever. Not sure why it's that important, except you don't have it on any other tools except for Swiss Army type knives. Maybe people, maybe Swiss people drink a lot of wine or they just, they've got to carry around a corkscrew. I don't know. Um, this is probably one of the first multi-tools floating around. This is actually a, uh, Boy Scouts of America Boy Scout knife. I want to say this is the Eagle Scout knife or something, I'm not sure. It says on the blade, official knife, Boy Scouts of America. Uh, I used to work next door to a Boy Scout headquarters building. Went in there and they have a store. And I bought this. Got a nice uh, utility blade on there. It's got a very nice, very good awl on here because these are meant for camping and, and stuff that they knew what you're going to need out there. Because that's what they do. So, give you a nice good awl. Flathead and a bottle opener. And a very aggressive, very aggressive can opener. Most can openers are not this uh, curved, not this aggressive. I think that's one of the things that makes a uh, Boy Scout knife stand out because I believe they all have this shape. And this is made by Camelus, I believe. Yes, this is a Camelus knife, New York, USA. I uh, don't know about the focus on this camera. I don't think this is meant for uh, macro shots. Okay, moving on down the line. Yeah. This is some weird thing that somebody gave me. I keep it in the console on my truck. It's got a couple little bitty screwdrivers in it. Little bitty screwdriver. Little bitty screwdriver. It's got a level. Um... Oh, it's got a tape measure in it. Never even seen that before. I don't know how long it is. It's probably not very long. Uh, let's see what else has this thing got. Saw. Look at that cute little thing. Isn't that so cute? And uh, grip. I don't know. It's a little flathead or something. I don't know if that just holds it in there or what. And then uh, here's the knife blade. Oh, another cute little knife. So cute. It actually has a little bit more of an edge than I expected it to have. It's not real sharp, but it's a little better than I expected. This whole thing's plastic. Probably made in China. This thing spins. I don't know why you would need that too. Um, what else you got? There's even a smaller screwdriver. Yeah. So yeah, there's a. It's a multi-tool. I mean, it's not the best one, but it's a multi-tool. It's called a Sensi Function Tool Card. Functional Tool Card. Alright, now into the real stuff. Oh, wait. One more little cheesy thing here. I have two of these. keep one in my camping kit, and I uh, keep one in my cook kit for camping, which is... Uh, I only bring along if I have several people, or if I'm going to be out for quite a long time. Um... 
I do have one of those. Is it light my fire sporks or whatever? It is? I'm not sure what it is. It's the it's the one with the spork and the little spatula together, or plastic or something, and it worked pretty good. But I do like having a, a metal set of utensils. Got a spoon, a dedicated spoon, and a dedicated fork. And a can opener. And an actual knife. So if I uh, kill me a rabbit, I can eat like a gentleman while I'm uh, sitting down at the table. Or the log or whatever I'm eating on. And it has a corkscrew in case I'm out in the wilderness and uh, come across a nice uh, vintage Merlot. I guess. Anyway, there's that. I think I paid three to five dollars for these things. That's worth the three to five dollars. Okay, here's the good stuff. Uh, I got a couple more. Oh, missing one. My EDC here. Bam. There we go. Start up with Leatherman. Got three of those sitting here. Got the skillet tool that stays on my belt loop at all times. It's uh, very simple, very um, stripped down, I guess, multi tool. It's got the pliers, which is the main reason for carrying a multi tool. And it's got the screwdrivers. Got the two flats. And then here, tucked away in the handle, these are two Phillips. And it's got a half serrated blade. It's a really nasty point on there. It's really sharp point. Okay, Skeletool. My EDC all the time carry. Uh, this is my first multi tool. I still have it. This is one of the very first Leatherman tools when they were first making them a name for themselves. It's obviously not the first one because it's called the PST2. So, um, but it is closer to the front of their line and I've had this since I was a kid I, I couldn't even tell you how long I've had this knife years and years and years got the uh, half serrated blade and uh, a couple screwdrivers, scissors uh, dirty uh, can opener another screwdriver, a little bit small screwdriver and a two sided file with a fish hook sharpener and something I don't think they do anymore this one still, this one has the uh, the ruler on the back of it. If you can, uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's got inches and centimeters on it. I don't think they do that anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they don't. There's that leather case held up for years and years and years and years and years. Here's the wave. This is probably my favorite multi-tool. Uh, it's got a serrated blade there, which is dirty. Wow, what is that gunk on my blade? Got to clean that. Anyway, serrated blade here on the outside. Saw here on the outside. Straight blade here on the outside. And two-sided file here on the outside. Open it up. Very much more comfortable handle. Got these rounded edges here. As opposed to just the stamped metal of these original ones. Uh, let me see. Screwdriver. Big flat Phillips. And can opener. And over here you got the scissors. Smaller flathead, a uh, tiny flathead, and a medium sized flathead. Those are all in the Leatherman Wave. Probably my favorite uh, multi tool. And this is. They do all lock. All these outside blades, they lock into place. Okay.
another mint out of the way. Sog. Bought this thing used at a second hand shop for $15, I believe. This is the Power Lock. Sog Power Lock. These, by far, by far, have the best pliers of any multi tool I've ever used, ever, ever, ever. These are the best pliers. Uh, let me see if I can show you with these Leatherman here. Both of them are the same. When you open it up, it's the way it works. And uh, you can manipulate these. You know, always in the video. Phone's always got to ring. Anyway, yeah, they're... Yeah, they work as pliers. They're not heavy-duty pliers, but they work. These have got this gear system here. That they, you cannot close these handles with the pliers staying closed. I mean, they are actually part of the mechanism. This gear spin, and I want to say they multiply the amount of force going onto the pliers. They have this is wire cutter, right? There, much more heavy duty. This is for like uh, cutting f like barbed wire or something. This is a heavy duty cutter. This is not like the one that's in here. This is for small stuff. This is for heavy duty stuff. And these, because these gears, they have the, the power to do stuff like that. Um, they would normally have a couple uh, little handle liners. That's what these holes are for. To cover this up to make it more comfortable when you're putting that much extreme pressure on these. When I bought it, they, didn't, they weren't on there. So, not a big deal. Got a little lanyard loop right there on the outside. It's not taking up a slot on the inside, which is a good move. Uh, you can go on the SOG website, and you can replace anything you see in here. You can change up the uh, configuration of what's in there, or you can just buy replacements or whatever. This knife blade was ruined when I got it. I need to order a new one. Uh, I did a little bit of touch-ups on it. It's... It will cut something now. It, it was full of nicks, and it was not sharp at all. It was horrible when I got it. Um, this one has a bit driver. Right here. I didn't know what it was at first. It's a little flat square thing. But... You use this. You can put a socket on the end of it. I have something in one of these other multi-tools here I can show you. Okay, you get a quarter inch drive uh, socket adapter. And let me see. Well, it slides on there like that. And you can use uh, different tools with it. This one is made for a different tool. It's not going to work on this. But, uh, yeah. You can put sockets on here. It works. This is a patented SOG thing. It's called the V-Cutter. Meant for opening packages and cutting string and stuff. It's got replaceable... Oh, I guess they're not replaceable. It's got little razor blades in here. Don't put this through... I don't, I don't put this through a lot of use. I guess some people might use it a whole lot. Been thinking about it, replacing it with something else. Maybe taking this out and putting a full straight-edge blade here and a full serrated blade here. I don't know. haven't messed with it yet. Um, and then just regular standard stuff, saw. This has a nice awl. I like that. Got a nice awl on it. Um, one thing I will say, they had a little micro screwdriver here on the end of the can opener, and it broke. I broke it tightening down the scope rail on my 1022. I would think it would, should hold up a little bit better than the little pressure I put on there, but... Yes, whatever. And all these do lock. Everything that comes out of here will lock open with these little deals here. Lock. Good feature. This thing is heavy, though. This is heavier than... Well, yeah, it's heavier than most of the other multi-tools. And it's a little more substantial. I mean, it's, it's a big tool. But a very good tool. It's very heavy-duty. And like I said, the best... By far, the best pliers of any multi tool is out there. By far. Here's Gerber uh, Suspension. I don't know the name of this thing. 
This is the one that stays. I don't have the the sheath here with it because it stays strapped to my camping gear. Uh, this is not my favorite multi tool, but it is the one that I carry when I'm camping for a couple reasons. One, it's got a spring in it. So one handed pliers, very easy to uh, manipulate things like that. Um, also, everything comes out from the outside and all locks in place. Um, they have thumb studs on them. Full serrated blade there. And uh, straight edge there. Then there's stuff like uh, your screwdrivers. You know, random, uh, let me see. Little bitty saw. Saw is very sharp. It's got a pretty good saw on it. Uh, scissors, screwdrivers, can opener, bottle opener. That's kind of unique. Can opener and bottle opener together. Um, you lock it open. You see that there? You pull this down to unlock it. Works good. Wear it sideways on the shoulder strap of my camping gear. Right in front of me. And then... But there's another one that's not real good quality, but they had some really good ideas in it. Not sure where I got this one. I keep this one in my range bag. It's Eddie Bauer. Um, once again, you can open this stuff from the outside. Got the standard saw, can opener. This is what that bit driver is designed for. And they had a good idea with this sheath. You open up the sheath, and the knife goes here. And you open it here, you have all your bits. See that? That's a pretty good idea. Now these are all, they're not real good quality. But you take this bit driver, throw that on there like that, and there's all your screwdrivers and stuff like that. So, oh, look at there. I'm missing a, a piece of this knife. Hmm. Never noticed that before. Anyway, um, these are spring, uh, got a spring in them also, and you see the, the quality on that, I'm just closing them in, and you see the blade flipped out, it's not, not real good quality stuff, but another thing I liked about this, once again, it's got the full serrated blade, and a full, uh, straight edge blade, it's got an awl, very sharp, long, point it all. And it's also got, you know, a lot of places, a lot of things will incorporate this tool into the awl by putting a hole in the awl, but that makes it so you have to have a bigger awl. You have a very fine, fine point on this one. This is for sewing, you know, leather or something together. You poke a hole in it with the awl, and then you put your, your string or uh, thread or whatever through the hole in this thing, and uh, use this kind of like a sewing needle. You poke this through the hole, Put your string through it and pull it back through. So that's something I did like on this tool. I just hate that it's the quality is, is crap. Between this and the bit driver system, it's a good idea. I just wish they had put it in the same quality as the Leatherman, something like this. But I don't think I bought this. I'm pretty sure someone gave it to me. It was a present somewhere. And I uh, reckon that's all my multi-tools here. So... One more time, thumbs up, uh, subscribe and comment, and all the other fun stuff. If you want a video about just one of these tools, let me know. I'll do it. Um, until then, thanks for watching.